Okay, and Zong Cream. Whoa, man. Uh, come on, come on. Upskirt shot, upskirt shot. Uh, uh, aww. Ah, yeah, well. Really don't question why I did that. I actually just. I really just came up with saying upskirt shot out of my ass. Um. But yeah, they have Cream as a little Easter egg. In here, where basically she'll just fly around and do absolutely nothing. But it's cool that she's in here. She came, you know, her first appearance was SA2, oh no, Sonic Advance 2, and they just plopped her in here for no reason. It's still technically SA2, but whatever. And kaboom, the train just blew up the... There's no explanation to why the hell that, that area just blew up, but there was a cave back there. That's interesting. The Ice Stone looks like a key, maybe I can use it in the Mystic Ruins. No crap. Maybe that's where the train told us that we need to go to Mystic Ruins. So we need to fly up here. And we're going to go to one of the best levels in Sonic's story. <laughs> All the Sonic stages are awesome, just except for Casinopolis. It's just that underground area. Ice. This can only mean one thing. And at least this game has good throwbacks to classic Sonic games. Which I guess technically Unleashed did too. But Ice Cap Zone! No Michael Jackson music in this one, though. But we do have snowboarding. That's later on. Now, even though, I don't know why, this is one of my favorite soundtracks, this is one of my favorite tunes in the game. Because it has, like, sort of, it has, like, a glacier feel to it, and it fits the level perfectly. This is by far one of my favorite tracks in the game. That's just me, though. Whoa. Oh, I made it. Okay. No, this level, I think, is really cool, though. I love, well, no pun intended, but it's still a really awesome level. I like that you also go back and forth between the mountains. This place is just awesome. Even even the inside area sounds bad at oh damn it. Even this inside music sounds awesome. This oh. It's not like, you know, like I said, Michael Jackson music like Sonic 3 did, but you know, the music in this level is still really awesome. Uh so Sonic has never really had much of a problem with music. It's just some stuff isn't as rem as memorable. Some stuff is still memorable, but Sonic Adventure 1 has probably one of the best Sonic soundtracks of most Sonic games, actually. Now, this sounds a lot like Paper Mario's Shiver, uh, Shiver City. That's just me, though. I don't really know what else to say. I just want to wait until we get to the snowboard section. That part is so awesome. And... oh my god. Glacier. And a drawbridge. Why is there a drawbridge in the the um, snow? I don't know, but we won't fight it. You walk through here, you break this section, and then Zonic is like, "Ang, snow!" And then like, there's a random convenient snowboard, and then we gonna go. We. If this isn't a throwback to Sonic 3, I don't know what the hell they were thinking by making this exactly the same as Sonic 3. It's not exactly the same. This is actually better than Sonic 3's because you can actually control Sonic. Now, despite the fact that the snow won't do anything if you stop, the snow basically goes at your speed. Uh, you get to control Sonic in an area. Here we go. Now it's sort of controlling him with a purpose because now we have to actually dodge stuff. And this makes the level awesome. You have another section, I think, like this. Well, yeah, you have a section like this with Tails. Uh... And, I, and, and uh, well, yeah, you'll see that later. I don't think we do that with Sonic, though. I don't even know what else to say, but let's come up... Oh. And let's come up here. Whoa. Yay, and then press A at the tip, and you can do a trick. And you can go on the rocks, and you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Totally missed that ramp. I never missed that ramp. I feel pitiful now. Let's nail this ramp, at least. I don't know why this part is so awesome. It's all the ramps. It has to be because you don't do anything. There's nothing to really dodge. It's all the ramps. And that's it. And the music is pretty sweet. Hidden path with extra rings. And, um... It's more fun to play than to watch. I can already tell that right now. Despite the fact I'm not doing anything, it's awesome. And I don't know what the whole thing is with the random blimps. Why the hell are there blimps? And why are there so many of them? 
Station Square in this entire Sonic overworld is... Whoa! Jesus. What? What? What the fuck? Okay, I need to redo the entire section again. What the fuck? Um... That was an awesome glitch. This is a game when where to, when a glitch happens, you just have to laugh, because that was awesome. Sonic frickin' jet himself. Uh, I won't have you watch this again, though, because that... Uh, um, I'll meet you at the bottom of the hill. Oh my god, it almost happened again. Jesus Christ. I almost slant... Oh my god, that was close. What the hell is that happening? That never happened before, but now... Sonic. Oh, okay, we're done. Yeesh. That was freaking weird, man. Alright, though, that's perfectly fine. At least that uh, was still fun to play back again, but it's like, really? That was really weird. It almost happened again. I was staring at Sonic flying, careening into the rocks, and I was like, oh, God, no. But it's okay. We're safe. Cutscene? Maybe? No. Okay, so, there, so as of now, the train isn't heading for Station Square, so I think we're okay. This part of the area is blocked. I'm just double-checking. Yep, it's blocked. It's all the rocks. Now let's go past the bad camera, and uh, there we go. I think... I don't even remember what we do now. The train headed is it what we have to do now? Will be departing yep, it is. Here we go. Something bugging you? No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have, right now. What? Let's just see you take them. Huh. Okay, now I have a little mini character fight with Knuckles, and these character fights are retarded. Oh no! One, it's ba it's basically like the same exact thing as oh, fighting no. Knuckles in uh, in Palace Zone oh, at no. Sonic 3. They're all pointless. But cutscene again. Uh, oh. oh no! The Chaos Emeralds. Like taking candy from a baby. That's a chaos emerald. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? Way to go, knucklehead! Now, I have four lovely emeralds! Chaos! These are for you, my friend! Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. Yeah, Chaos 3 is another form of Chaos you never fight. And now we're going to be fighting Chaos 4. And now he's basically a sea monster. It's kind of cool. It's kind of, it's what I do like about the whole thing of Chaos' evolution, that every single time he gets a Chaos Emerald into him, he, he grows like a little metallic part inside his body. It's really weird, but pretty cool. And I can't hit him. Because he's... There we go. He was right over a lily pad and I couldn't hit him. But yeah, really simple fight. Just keep dodging out of his way. And then when he pops out of, on, of the water, just jump on him. And this fight always weirded me out. Because I don't know why the hell Sonic can walk on water. It's just... Look at... Hey, if you stay under for too long, you'll get hit. Like, if you just stand still for too long, you'll get hit. So it's like quicksand in any other game where you stand in too long. Slow move, but you can't move that much. It's just weird.
this fight is just really pathetic. I think the next Chaos fight finally becomes difficult, but this one really is uh, nothing to worry about. Although, it does take him too long to get too long to kill. They try spicing it up right here, I think. No. He, like, and I think after one more hit, when he tries to put himself back together, he'll go into like a big bouncy ball, but other than that, no.